Some folks at UGA have been working extremely hard to better serve not only Georgia peanut producers, but producers worldwide. And they're doing it with a little help from some folks in Washington, D.C. Damon Jones explains. With Georgia being responsible for nearly half the peanut production in the U.S., it only makes sense that the government has set up their peanut innovation lab right here in the state. It's an initiative designed to help developing countries increase their yields by providing information from some of the top peanut agronomists in the world. So we do research here in the, with the University of Georgia scientists and many other scientists in the United States that are working on peanuts to try to develop better varieties that have the traits like drought tolerance, disease resistance, pest resistance that's required to, to better produce these peanuts on smallholder farmer fields in the countries that we work in. The project is funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development and is part of the government's Feed the Future initiative that has more than 20 other labs set up across the country researching other commodities. As for why this program is so important... Mainly because most countries are food insecure. Many of the smallholder farmers cannot produce enough on their land to even reach food security within the household. Feed the Future has targeted five different countries, including four in Africa, to focus on. And to better do that, the researchers have to make frequent visits. Well, it's very important for us to, to be in those countries because that's the best way to see firsthand what, what are the problems that farmers are facing and what do they really need us as scientists to be able to do to help them best. So we try to visit every one of our countries at least once or maybe twice a year if we can. Recently, one of those trips was to Haiti along with former President Bill Clinton to help launch one of 35 planned depots throughout the country which provides training, seed, storage, and distribution for the farmers. It's an initiative the locals have really taken to. So they're thrilled usually to get, you know, a little bit of attention to what they're doing. Many of them have, you know, less than an acre in some cases. So it's, it's very small scale, but uh, it's really as important as peanuts are to, you know, farmers in South Georgia. The peanuts are that important even at that small scale for these people. As for the results, they're very easy to see, especially for roads, who spent nearly a decade in Haiti working with the farmers. Now we've got, you know, improved varieties coming in. Uh, farmers are, you know, even just little steps like planting in rows, whereas before it was scatter planting. And uh, it allows a, a whole different uh, suite of technologies. And I think it'll be a huge transformation from seeing, you know, four or 500 pounds an acre kind of yields that are, you know, below subsistence to, you know, hopefully they'll get to the point where they can make some money too. And I think what we've seen is, is definitely increases in farm level production of peanuts. And as well, many farmers now being able to, to tap into markets. And while this project is very beneficial to the developing countries around the world, it's also very rewarding for the researchers who participate in it. Oh, it's, I mean, it's great. It's like the best job you can have because it's, uh, it's uh, intellectually engaging and yet you know you're helping people out too at the same time. Reporting from Athens, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.